Hello and welcome to the Let's Make a Game video series. I'm Luca and I'll be showing you in this video and the others how to set up your desktop environment and start making games using SDL and OpenGL. Of course, the language of choice is C++. Uh, please bear in mind that these videos are not language tutorials, so you should have some basic knowledge about programming and should at least know something about C++ or at least uh, other language like Java, C Sharp and maybe Python but you will probably have to look at some other site so you will know how it works in C++ so this is episode 1 and I'll be showing you how to prepare your desktop to compile and run an SDL program so because the Windows installation is harder I uh, well longer we'll start there this is a virtual desktop using windows xp sp3 it's a little old but i think it's a good choice for a virtual machine so first of all we have to get the sdl library so we search sdl go to their main website and there we have a download section sdl 1.2 make sure that you download for the development libraries and choose the SDL DVL for MingV compiler. I don't know how that is read, but I think I'll just say MingV. Because we'll be using cool blocks. If you are using Visual Studio or Visual Express, then download one of these two versions instead. But for now, download this one. After you downloaded the library, we'll go and download our ID and for the tutorial I've chosen code blocks so we shot code blocks go to their main website and the download section we'll download the binary release not the source code and make sure that you download the bigger version it's 74 megabytes that has the mingv, in MingV compiler included because without that you won't be able to compile your program if you have another ID on, you probably already have a compiler, but we assume you don't, so download this version. After you have downloaded everything, you'll get two files. One is an installation, and we'll start that first. Yes, run. Code blocks 10.05. Next. I agree. Make sure the Ming compiler suite is. Uh, click I mean en enabled next we will install it in the default directory and while this is installing we will be extracting the SDL library we can extract it here on the desktop it doesn't matter you can put it on your C drive or my documents but I'll just put it on the desktop If we open up the SDL library, we will see that there is a include map and a lib map. Those are the two main maps that are really important. There are also the documentation is here. You just open the index file. And let's return to the installation. Do you want to run con blocks now? Yes, we do. Starts up. Let's close this. Uh, we finish the installation. Um, I'm sorry if uh, the font is kind of unclear, but I don't really know how to make a better quality on this virtual machine. So just do what I say, and maybe try to read it. So we go to settings and compile and debugger settings because we have to set a few things. First we go to the linker settings tab. Oh, I just delete that. Uh, no, first we go to the search directories. And there we have to add two things. First from the compiler we have to point a new directory to where we extracted SDL and point it to the include and SDL directory 
that is where the files are that are needed to compile the project so include the SDL directory in the include folder okay and then we have to add another one in the linker tab so we go to the linker I already had this, so I'll delete this and add one that points to the lib folder in the SDL library and this is done okay so let's create a new project click on create a new project and an empty project do not select the SDL project because I don't know if it works but let's just don't do that use an empty project we see the wizard come up next we name a title like test make sure the folder to create project in that you have it pointed to, to somewhere like my documents next we want to use the GNU GCC compiler and finish after that we see that we have a test project right here so now we have to add a file so we go to file new file and select a C slash C++ source file we have the wizard C++ we give it a name I just give it the name main and make sure the add file to active project is clicked finish oh, I have to show the full path so open this up where you have your project and save also um, click the debug and release in the inbuilt targets subsection so that the program will know that it has to compile this file so click finish after that we'll have a under our project there's a source map and there's the file so before we start programming we have to set up one thing for the project so right click on the project and we go properties and there we click projects dependency oh project build options on that we go to the linker settings tab and we have to add three things so that the compiler will know that we use as SDL so we type minus L main v32 uh, don't worry I'll copy that to the source because you probably don't see it clear L SDL main and L SDL I just copy this okay and okay uh, so this is what you have to add this specific this is for the compile this and these two are that the compilers well the linker that we are using the SDL library and after that we can write the source file so we have to include the file the main SDL file it's named sdl.h and then we can go to the main part of the program so int main int Sure. Oh, I guess. do not ask why this is required it is I don't think it could pass right without this I don't know uh, it's just usual that you do write it don't really think about what it is just put it in there so the first thing we have to do is to make SDL initialize when we start the project so you go SDL and, and as you can see it has found SDL and it gives you the completion for just about everything what we need is SDL in it and we have to specific uh, specific and we have to say what you we want to initialize and that is SDL in it as you can see it gives us the audio, CD-ROM, joystick, no part, timer, video and all that but we will just use everything 
that will initialize everything. The, at the end, we want to use sdl.quit, so we close the project, I mean the program. And at the end of every main, we have a return. So now we can compile the project, build, compiling, and no error, zero errors, zero warnings. So we should be able to run it. And we get an error because it doesn't find the sdl.dl file. That's common. We have to add it ourselves. So open up the my documents where you save the file. We named it test, bin, debug, there see the executable. We have to add the right DLs for running the program. So we go to where we extracted the library, SDL. Uh, where is it? Bin. And then we copy the SDL file to where we have our project. And now we can run it again. And it works. But we really don't see anything, so let's just output the screen. Oh, we have to use for drawing on the screen. Output into the screen. Let's compile and run. Oh yes, sir. Oh yeah, I forgot. Right click on project, properties, build targets, and then you choose a GUI application. That way we won't have a console open up when we run the file. Well, it compiles successfully, so that means SDL is working on Windows. So, that so now after we have successfully run and compiled the SDL application on Windows, we can make it compile run on Linux. <coughs> this is the Archbase distro. You'll probably be using Ubuntu, so I'll list the commands that you have to do to install SDL on Ubuntu. If you're using an other distro then you probably know enough how to install our library so we open up a terminal i'll be using emacs because i can easily enlarge the font so you'll be able to see what i type so when first you'll need the compiler so on ubuntu you go sudo up get install g plus plus and that will install the compiler. After that, you do sudo apt-get install, and I think the name is for the library is lib sdl 1.2 minus tbl. That is the name of the library. It should install it, and after it's installed, it should work. If it doesn't work, uh, then please. Actually, I just look it up. So I make sure that it's yes, it's lib sdl dev. If dev doesn't work, use dev l. And after that, we have a compiler and liber library installed. Much more easier. So on Linux, I won't be using any ID. We'll be using just a plain text editor to write code and then compile it using the terminal. So I'll leave the terminal open and I'll open up my text editor. You can use get it, you probably have it installed. So open up get it. I'll using Emacs because I'm comfortable with it. And open a new file. We we'll name it main.cpp. And now we have to do the same thing as on Windows. We have to include the library. So you go include 
there's one difference here you have to do SDL slash or dash I don't know what it is and then SDL dot H there's a minor difference here on how it is linked so also include the basic outputting I stream and then we can write the main program in the main at the end there's the return zero as every program should have and we can initialize SDL SDL init SDL init everything that as I said will initialize everything SDL has and at the end we do SDL quit save our file and we go to the terminal make sure that you move with the terminal to where your file is saved if you save your file in your home folder then you'll be there when you open your terminal unless you're not then use the cd command to move where you save the file I know that I saved it in my home folder so I can simply write g++ minus o that is for how the name of the executor will be I'll name it test and then we simply type the name of the file we compiled it's main.cpp at the end we tell it that we'll use sdl so we do minus l sdl main and minus l sdl it's almost the same as on windows so I'll open my so we can see we have main.cpp here and after we compile we got an executable file so now we can run it I'll just run it here you run the file with dot slash and the name test and it runs fine true that we don't see anything but that's because we haven't set up a window so there's nothing popping up also on Linux you don't have to copy the SDL DLL file to where the executable is because when we install the library uh, the computer I mean the operating system knows where to search for it and that's for episode 1 how to install and set up your environment on building a game with SDL in the next tutorial we'll be going into how to open up a window so we have a nice white or black window where we'll be later drawing stuff on screen and doing basic game logic thanks for listening and goodbye